everyone, welcome to Felt Guide, my YouTube channel where we talk and nurture nature. So today we're going to propagate eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a uh, shrub tree uh, species from Australia. Eucalyptus is the Latin name for the genus of this tree, uh, which is a subdivision of the family Vertaceae. Um, so today we are going to take some softwood as well as some semi-hardwood cuttings of this tree and see if we can propagate our own little eucalyptus trees. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna make a cut uh, four to six inches down the stem, uh, just below a node. So uh, the nodes are where the leaves come from here. This is where uh, there are latent buds where uh, the plant will grow roots or uh, shoots from. So four to six inches, let's take a cut in here. So we have our one cut here. So now we're going to get into some semi-hardwood cuttings. I will also take uh, four to six inch cuts. Uh, this one's a softwood. Softwood. So now that we have our cuttings, we can move on to the, the propagation process. I'm just going to put them down here uh, where I know that this side of the cuttings are the ones that are going to go into the soil. Um, so first I have this tray. Uh, it's about uh, two inches deep. I'm going to fill it up with the soil. Uh, this is just what I have left over from the growing season. It's a mixture of uh, uh, like soil, sand, minerals, uh, organic matter, and perlite. Uh, the perlite will help create some macro pores in the soil and help with the, the drainage. All right, uh, next up, we're going to need a uh, rooting hormone. So this is a, a root stimulator. Uh, this one is a liquid, but you can also get a powder version of this. Uh, some people will pour this into a bowl. I just kind of dip my cuttings into it. All right, so you can use uh, pruners like this. Um, I prefer to use snips. You can just get a lot closer to the stem. And what you're gonna wanna do is just clip off the, the lower leaves, uh, maybe like three nodes worth. So that's two, and 
and then three. And then uh, just so that this uh, cutting uh, isn't all this leaf surface is going to photosynthesize uh, and require water brought up from the stem and roots to help with uh, photosynthesis. Uh, we don't have any roots right now, so we don't want this plant to require a lot of water. So we're actually going to cut these leaves in half. Till about there. Next, I'm just gonna dip this into the rooting hormone, uh, stick it into my cell, and make sure that there's full contact with the soil and pinch that down. So we're just gonna fill up this whole tray and do the same process throughout. These larger ones you can just pull off with your hands. It smells amazing cutting through these leaves. I'm just cutting some of these in half um, just because there are two to three buds or nodes also that I am uh, covering in the rooting hormone and I feel like that is sufficient and also just as far as they can reach here in each of the individual cells. The more notes that you have covered, uh, the higher chances and the, the better the root system will be straight off the bat. I'm just trimming up this stem uh, so it's closer to the bud or the node. I like to call them latent buds in trees or dormant buds. Now, eucalyptus is a hard one to propagate. I've never done this before, so I don't know if I will even get any any of these to grow. Um, so I'm going to cut some of these semi-hard one, hardwood ones in half, um, just as an experiment and a case study to see if this will even work. But I am I am up opportunistic that these little cuttings will will take hold and start rooting. Here we have the cuttings. Um, so you could use a, a hood or a dome like this to keep the moisture in. Um, I'm just going to use a garbage bag to um, throw on top of these because some of the cuttings are quite tall. Um, 
smells very good over here after cutting all those leaves. So let's go ahead and uh, close these up. I'm just going to throw a bag over these to keep the moisture in. Just remove any clippings in here so they don't rot and cause disease. These are going to go on my propagation shelf now, and uh, we'll check in, make sure that there is moisture inside of the bag, uh, some nice humidity, uh, make sure the soil is nice and damp, and uh, I'll give you an update. So I placed the propagations um, on a shelf in my entryway of my home, which is a uh, south facing and it also receives some light from this door here which is west facing so let's check in in four to six weeks and see how the cuttings are doing all right that's a wrap on propagating eucalyptus if you found this video helpful like subscribe and follow along for more plant care tips and an update on the eucalyptus all right happy gardening folks